Hey everyone, so this video is about 4K resolution displays. And here's the deal. <clears throat> There's a lot of activity around cameras, video lately, where we're starting to move up into the next uh, quality level of uh, imagery. So what that means is, for years we've been building into using Blu-ray in 1080p. I mean, Blu-ray wasn't a, a big success, but basically the 1080p is the current highest resolution available on a Blu-ray disc or broadcast TV. Um, it's it's really the standard right now, but it's been around for a while, and we're starting to, you know, go into the next technology. And it's still pretty far away, but there's certain things that should be here now that I think that, uh, you know, that, you know, they should be here, but they just aren't. But uh, where am I going with that? Okay, so here's my point is that there's all kinds of rumors that, for example, Apple is going to release the next iPad 3 with a high-resolution display. The rumor is uh, 2048 by 1536. And that's basically very close to what the 30-inch monitors, computer monitors out there, perform at today. So a 30-inch screen um, from Dell, from uh, Apple used to have one. Let's see what else is out there. There's, there's an HP, for example. There's not a lot of out there because they're kind of expensive. So this iPad 3 is going to come out with this same level of pixel density, basically, resolution. It's, it's only going to be in a 10-inch screen. So what that means to me is that computer monitor manufacturers are dragging their feet. There's a lot more technology they can do now. Uh, they're just not doing it because they don't think there's a market there. So 4K video is starting to come out where... You know, you may have heard about the Canon EOS camera that uh, was launched in fall 2011. That still outputs at 1080p, but it can capture, I guess, at 4K. And then you may have heard about the RED company that makes, uh, not really custom, but there are smaller manufacturer cameras that shoot at 4K video. Uh, go out there and look at Vimeo or some other websites. I think even on YouTube here, they have some examples of 4K video using the RED cameras. It's just absolutely amazing. They can shoot uh, slow motion and uh, completely high-res screens, It's images rather. So we're getting into an area where we're getting ready to change technology. The other thing is that Digital cameras are now shooting at resolutions above 8 to 12 megapixels. So the image of a picture, the image you capture is basically always larger than, if you're shooting in RAW, larger than any computer monitor out there that can show it natively. So it can shrink it down and you're kind of seeing the scrunch version of it, but the 100% view of the picture, there's no monitor out there that's consumer-oriented that's going to show you that full view of the picture. So it, it's time, right? I mean, computer monitors need to be putting out um, these 4K monitors at this point. Uh, there is one that was recently announced, Izio, I think I'm saying that wrong, Izio. But they're a respected uh, computer monitor company that's known for extremely high quality uh, image reproduction on their screens. They're very expensive. They're mainly for high-end photography work, a little less on video. But they've announced this new one, uh, 4K resolution, a 36-inch screen. So that's a definitely a big big uh, monitor lots of resolution but the price tag is just they might as well not even announce anything right it's thirty six thousand dollars so you know very probably gonna make next to none, none of those so but the technology is right it's the direction where i want to see things going 
and uh, hopefully we'll see more of that. I think it is time for Dell and the HPs and the LGs to put out a monitor that can do this uh, 4K. So just a commentary, folks. Um, let me know what you think.